Hello friends, how are you? This video is for those who are still trying to fix activity mean binding not found in data binding in Android and also provide the solution of warning that DSL element Android.DataBinding.Enable is obsolete. So this video for all those who are still trying to auto import activity mean binding in data binding so how to fix activity mean binding not found if uh, you have such types of error likewise activity main binding there is no you are pressing controls plus space but no found auto import then after the completion of this video i am trying my level best to resolve this matter uh, by the way you will get your desired class so as per the Android guideline, upgrade your studio to Android Studio 4.0. And little bit about data binding understanding. So in most cases, data binding replaces find view by IDs. And most of time, we use that inside MVVM, model view and view model architecture. So generating a binding class for each XML, it is automatic. There is no need to generate or create our class so it's it is totally depend upon xml layout file so many developer i have seen that they are finding with the name of java class or kotlin class there is no uh, automatic generated class is based on that it's based on xml so if xml file name is activity underscore main dot xml then activity main binding it is automatically generated class so uh, mind well that if you are uh, really go with the hello world type of application then main activity is the name of java class name while activity underscore main dot xml it is xml layout file name so you can resolve this one likewise if activity underscore like dot xml is layout file name and activity like binding it is automatically generated binding class name by data binding so let's start how to fix activity main binding not found in data binding in android so go to new project with empty activity inside android studio 4.0 this one is ots one time step inside build.gradle file module level we need to write data binding enabled equals to true so make sure your internet connection is on we will try for this one so i am going to file create new project click on empty activity and give the name whatever you want to give likewise demo err underscore data binding means db click on finish all the stuffs are ready so I am going to Gradle file. This is module level. So build.gradle file. See, this one is not dependency. Just you need to write the code inside Android block. So just I press one enter over here and I will write the code that as per the given slide. So data binding then enable equals to true so this is the code that i have written inside build or gradle file make sure your internet connection is on and click on sync now so see this one if you complete this exercise then you will see likewise error message likewise this one warning message we can see likewise dsl element android dot data binding enable is obsolete and has been replaced with android dot build features data binding it will be removed version 5.0 so uh, why this is happen that already i have covered in this slide so in previous code you may get warning likewise we have seen in this one this is the warning message you have seen that code is older for gradle version older gradle version and if android gradle plugin which is 
newer than 4.0 or latest one then uh, these warning it is for you how to check this one so go to file and uh, project structure then you can get this if you have which types of grid level you have so if you are using the latest than the 4.0 then you need to add build features data binding equals to true mind well that it is also working but this one is recommended okay so this one is the latest one so just i write inside the android block you need to write likewise this way build types we are writing build features then over here we need to write data binding enable equals to true so there is no semicolon and this is the code for the latest gradle so currently right now click on sync now let's see and make sure your internet connection is on see this one there is no any warning message or recommendation that uh, so it's a latest code if you want to write then this one is the latest one so this is the very basic steps so to inbuild with the data binding or deal with the data binding in your android project so after that sometimes directly developer go to main activity and uh, they are trying to fetch activity main binding class likewise this way uh, this one is over from the build.gradle file developer are directly come to main activity then over here they know that activity main binding is the class name likewise if layout is activity underscore main then activity main binding and they are recently right this one but it is not happen right wise this way this one is not importing if you press control space control uh, you want to import it then it suggests you need to implement or create the class for activity main binding why this thing is happen so the uh, first we are trying to fix activity main binding not found and right now we have this error that activity main binding you are not getting this one so they suggesting that uh, you need to create activity main binding while this one is a uh, auto generated so let's see in this one that uh, what are the checkpoint so first checkpoint is we are trying to uh, display the checkpoints or one by one we can try to resolve this activity main binding from the auto import so first thing is go to your activity underscore main dot xml file and write the code above constraint layout in the left side this one uh, we have seen that it is by default by this one so we need to write layout tag above constraint layout so let's see and try to write so it may be possible that uh, we will get that auto import activity main binding so just i am going to activity main dot class it is by default one i am writing layout and uh, ending tag at the end of the layout and this one is ready so i am going to and try to once again let's see that uh, main activity main binding go to import or not means automatically generated class it is built or not see this one i am pressing control space see this one yes ready ready with this one so i have this class activity main binding over here so it is very easy thing for me where there is no uh, auto import is found currently right now we can see this one easily it fixed so helpful for you i think so if this one is the checkpoint one if still you do not get this one that uh, same error may be happen at your end then do one more thing that write the code inside layout for the data currently right now we have this one so our error is resolved but i want to show the step whatever i have found that uh, data this one if you write this code 
then it may be happen that if your activity main binding class is not there then you will get this class so inside the auto import and uh, it's a checkpoint too it may be helpful for you so i think that you will resolve this error by checkpoint 2 if checkpoint 2 also you pass and there is no uh, activity mean binding or whatever your desire binding class on the auto import then it's a checkpoint number 3 so to fix auto import go to build and clean project after cleaning process will be finished then go to build and rebuild the project so sure damn sure that your you will get your auto import class whatever the auto generated binding class you want to give then you will get that inside the auto import so this video is completed activity main binding not found in data binding in android so it may be happen that uh, it is also you can resolve this warning dsl element android dot data binding enable is obsolete so this one is my just an experiment to resolve whatever the error i got and i tried to resolve it and i just share with you so thanks for watching activity mean binding not found in data binding in android i think that you like it and it will become helpful to you to resolve this how to fix activity main binding not found in data binding so like it subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much